Covering the war in Afghanistan wasn't simply a job for Associated Press journalists Kathy Gannon and Anya Niedringhaus. It was a passion. And the one thing that Anya and I, in, in all our, our teamwork that we have been doing since 2009, has been to try and really get out and talk to the people, you know, not stay in the city, not stay in the capital, but really to try to get a, a feel for, for what the people are, are saying. But as they were preparing to cover the presidential election on April 4th, an Afghan police commander opened fire on their vehicle. Niedringhaus, a Pulitzer Prize winning photographer, was killed. Gannon was struck by six bullets. And I looked down and my, my left hand was separated from my wrist and I couldn't, so I couldn't move and I, I couldn't, I, I wasn't humped over but I was sort of, and I couldn't move my shoulder. One of the bullets went in here and came out it shattered the shoulder blade and, and several hit this hand. Gannon underwent emergency surgery and was eventually treated at the Hospital for Special Surgery in New York. Given the, the, the injury in this arm, um, Dr. Fufa, after she had a chance to look at it when I was medevac to the U.S., um, she said, every nerve, even the smallest nerve in my left hand was intact. How is that possible? I mean, how is that possible? It's just incredible. Looking back, Gannon says their decisions were sound, and had they the opportunity to do it over, their plans would have stayed the same. We weren't careless or um, uh, cavalier about the security arrangements. Um, we understood the risks, of course. Kathy Gannon wants to continue to tell the Afghan story and believes Anya Niedringhaus would have been equally determined to do so. So I know that she feels exactly, she felt exactly like I feel, and, and there is absolutely no way some crazy gunman is going to decide for me what my future is going to be. Absolutely not. I, I will go back to Afghanistan for sure. Warren Levinson, Associated Press.